Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Ally General on the Mysterious JG. Last time, after a little bit of quasi-save scumming, because I tossed a single video like less than a minute in when my uh, best tank unit got wiped out on the first, you know, first minute or two of the video. <laughs> a little quasi-save scumming that at least I'm admitting to. No, I, I, I wasn't a fan of that, so I kind of took that one back. But, you know, I am keeping... Uh, hidden units off and doing all those things. And uh, we uh, we lost an auxiliary uh, infantry, and auxiliary tank unit in a probably pointless struggle to hold on to Machili as long as we could. But at the end of the day, we managed to retake Mercer Brega. And although the time had wound down for this offensive for the Germans anyway, like in my mind, that would break their offensive. Like we had uh, taken half of their like starting point for their attack. And they still had, they had a, like much weakened like we tight we took out they had like six or seven tank units two mobile artillery units i guess they had put well i know we took out some german tank units we also had took out an italian tank unit which is the italian tank units are uh are tougher than you expect because their infantry is usually weak compared to the german infantry the tank units were fairly good and i think that's meant to represent the fact that they had experience fighting in the desert against uh the actual native population because this is germany like italy was trying to get its own african empire going and the germans got involved uh, as you know part of their efforts but ostensibly they're helping the Germ the italians against the british but um yeah like this is not the this is a we took out a significant for uh, portion of their offensive force even if we didn't wipe it all out um and unless like really unless you just get rid of all your defensive units and replace them with a bunch of tanks and just get a bit lucky and get really aggressive, you're not winning a major victory here. Uh, so I'm, I'm fairly pleased with how all that came out. But let's move on to the next scenario. Sir, High Command commends you on a victory in the face of considerable odds. Good show. Cheerio. Jerry won't discount your capacity as commander again. Through Ultra, we've surmised that the Axis will attack Thursday next. Tobruk and her garrison are in jeopardy. Hence, High Command expects us to seize the advantage by striking first. It is imperative that we accomplish our objectives by year's end. But is it a government fiscal year? <laughs> so interesting. So through Ultra, we've survived that Cherry is about. Good show, capital. No, but uh, at any rate, yeah. The, so we're going to the same scenario we would have if we had lost. Uh, it's just that it fits better this time because we will start holding to Brook. But if we'd lost last time... Losing doesn't just end the game, but it does mean um, it doesn't make sense that we still have to brook here because this is this is our counter attack. This is kind of I feel like this is the cannon path. This is we held an attack against Tobruk, and now Operation Crusader is the British counter attack. I don't know that much about the history of the Desert War, but this feels right to me. This makes more sense than uh, getting getting uh, a major and already pushing the Germans out of North Africa. And, like, the very next mission is an opportunity to push them out of North Africa and just wind the whole thing up super early. So this is a tough one. Like, in this version of reality, they have kind of encircled Tobruk, and we have to burst out. Um, so we're in a worse position than we ended the last scenario in. But we get to deploy our units from the, for the next scenario. So we're essentially launching our counterattack out of uh, Beer... I'm going to pronounce this wrong, I'm sure. Beer Schaeferzen. Uh, What is the... Is Tobruk in Egypt? I know that uh, Benghazi is in Libya. Like, I believe this... And the, a scenario we won't see, because uh, if I understand it correctly, we, are, we can't see all of the scenarios, because some of them are kind of mutually exclusive. Although it might be if we get a loss. Oh, I have to look into that. If we get a loss here, we might get into the your your back is against the wall. You are going to lose if you don't win this scenario. But then you might be able to get back on path by winning it. But Cairo is the is the mission you get if you just keep failing. And if you lose at Cairo, then the Germans basically win the war in the north. Um, and Cairo would be. So, yeah, I'm not sure if Tobruk is... Because if I remember right, geography, right? Libya borders Egypt. I'm not sure where the border falls. But yeah, we're basically we're in a land war with the Germans fighting in Libya and Egypt. So we probably want to put our artillery 
here. And Okay, I lost the scroll button. So we have two infantry units. Our gun is already deployed. I think eventually there might be a very slightly better version of this plane that becomes available. But really, that's the thing about these guys. They're very powerful, but they, they're really not going to get any better. The Spitfires, on the other hand, are going to be upgradable. They're already upgradable. Is this worth the points? Because this would cost... We have over 1,000 prestige now. But we'd be burning a quarter of it to upgrade this thing. For what? Uh, better air attack, which is good. Better attack. I think we hold on to this for a while and see if we can jump over. Because I don't know what how good Spitfighters are going to get. Will this be good enough for right now? But actually, yeah, you know, even as I say that, this is very much a scenario where the German Air Force, the Luftwaffe, will be a much bigger part of this. If initiative went up, I would buy it in a heartbeat. But initiative isn't going up. It's just attack values. And the air attack is going up by two. I think we'll leave it for now. All right. We don't really want to lose this area if we can help it. Let's put our infantry in the two cities that we're kind of fighting for on the front line. Yeah, this one, this one can be pretty hard to get started on. And something I meant to do, which I didn't do, was look up... Um, whether we actually want to win this or whether we want to get a, a major, a minor, or there's one where I think if I wanted to show all the scenarios off, we would have to lose one intentionally. Maybe this one. And the uh, scrolling is frustrating in this game. Is it time to upgrade the Matilda? Oh, okay, we got better tank options now. So the Matilda is really hard to get rid of. Uh, but it's not going to be great for an offensive campaign because this movement is terrible. But we now have access to the Stuart tank. Initiative 7, attack 3, 9. This thing has attack 2, 9, so it's actually worse on attack. The same initiative... What is this guy? He's the Mark One. Okay, so these are what we're comparing to. So 100, 120. Price does usually kind of indicate how good it is. 130. So this is the most expensive, the Grant. Is that an American tank? Movement five. So same movement as this, and upgrade over the Matilda. So initiative is the same. These all have the same initiative, don't they? Yep, they all have the same initiative. So this has 672 for defense. 1183, so that's definitely an improvement. Then attack 11 11. These aren't really great for offense. They're just really hard to kill. The Matildas are just really hard to kill. But uh, this has 5 8, 3 8, 3 8, 2 8, 11 11. Yeah, I think we want uh, 
I think we want grants. And we'll go ahead and put the really experienced one I can put here because we actually have a lot of tough fighting to do here. We got some weakened defense. We, like, we want to get rid of these guys who are behind our main force quickly. And that should be everybody deployed. Yeah, I really should have looked up what kind of victory do we want here, or do we want victory at all? Because um, if you don't want victory, there's not that much you can do here. You, you kind of need to pull away and let them beat you and maybe beat them down, but find a way that your guys can safely let them take the last defensive point. I don't know what... Yeah, I'm kind of not sure. I hadn't thought this through. Like, do I want to lose a battle to see all of the campaigns? And do I have time to ask the question and, and let you guys provide answers and the feedback? And if I wait, will it be too late for me to keep the uploads going? How many core units do we get? Two core units again. So for me, the temptation is to go fighter. Because we're going to need good fighters. Can I afford this? I can't do I can't do one of each. All right, we'll get another mosquito and then we'll wait a few turns to get another fighter. We're gonna have a mighty air force and not as good of a uh, not as good of a ground core force as maybe we should have if I just keep spending all my core points on um, the, in this way. The other thing we could get is a level bomber. Uh, people had really strong feelings for and against level bombers uh, in my Panzer General. Let's play. I remember that. Okay. Some of these guys had really good anti-air. They have air defense 8, air attack 0. Oh, these were the ones. They have air defense 8, air attack 10. So these are really... It's rough to bomb these guys, actually. Uh, I'm finally at a, a time where I'm way outclassing the, the Italian tanks. Because, yeah, these th this Italian tank has good stats compared to the tanks I had in the last scenario, but their tanks don't get any better, and ours do. How do I want to proceed here? How well are you entrenched here? Zero. Okay, let's have you have a zero entrenchment here instead. And this recon unit will move in here to make sure, or can they do this? They don't, they, they can't march far enough. You're my best bet at getting rid of these anti-tanks because if I send fighters to try to shoot at them, I'm gonna lose fighters. I could send bombers, and there's a decent chance I'll lose bombers. You guys take even lot. Like, that's a really tough unit, actually. I need to get rid of it, though, and I need to... I don't want to waste a lot of time. We need to get rid of it fast. Let's, uh... Let's bomb it, and then use the uh, Pioneer Infantry against it. I was really hoping they wouldn't attack first. That was a terrible result. That was... RNG was not my friend there, but I want to get them off the map. And we have at least succeeded in that. Damn it. We did okay, we got we got nothing accomplished there except taking some losses. Let's 
trying to wipe these guys out. They got no place to retreat to. All right, force their surrender. so much we can do with these guys we got nobody defending our main base I know how silly that must seem to you so they managed to deploy artillery but it's in range of my artillery and I'm uh, going to punish them for that because I get the first turn. <laughs> it's a bit silly to be attacking from our defensive positions, but I'd like to get off to a quick start here. Because, again, I don't know if a major, minor, or loss is what we actually want. Italian. I was wondering, like, why is this going so well? Oh, Italian infantry. I know that sounds harsh, but, I mean, take a look here. This is Italian infantry, 1939 Italian infantry. Although I don't think they get 39, 41, and 43 variants. But they have initiative 0, soft attack 5, ground defense 5. Somewhere around here we'll have some German infantry. Yeah, Wehrmacht infantry. Initiative 1, soft attack 6, ground defense 6. So they're better in every way than Italian infantry. You got a problem with that? You're an Italian American, or just not even Italian American, just you're just watching this and are bothered by that? Uh, let the Panzer General folks know. But you should probably bear in mind. Yeah, see, this is. Oh, this is. Uh, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Bersigiri? They're, they're like the elite Italians. And they have the same stats. They have slightly better stats than regular German infantry. The Germans also have pioneer infantry that we haven't we're not seeing on this map just yet, but like heavily extra heavily equipped German infantry, they do exist. Oh, that's perfect, because they didn't retreat. Oh no, they they got wiped out. They did retreat. Never mind. So we're not gonna take the city on this turn. We're just gonna kind of force them out. And I think we're better off having these guys just stay in position. Anti-tanks are just, anti-tank guns are just generally not very good on offense. These represent, and they're self-propelled anti-tank guns, which it's like, well, what's the difference between that and a tank? And I remember the old Panzer General, like, physically existent, uh, soft, you know, it was a paperback, but it was a, what we call it now is a hard copy, just because we live in the world of digital documents, but an actual physical book you can hold in your hand explained that the difference between a self-propelled anti-tank gun and a tank is that self-propelled anti-tank guns don't have turrets. But the non-self-propelled anti-tank guns are basically these big guns on wheels that have to be pushed into position and can be shot towards tanks, which means they're great if you're pointing them towards where you think the enemy's going to come from, but they're not good at being on offense. Let's go ahead and let this turn. Because well, I'm not buying anything else, right? Did I get enough to buy that uh, fighter? We did. All right, well, let's have another fighter ready to go on the next turn. But we will be completely out of prestige. So I need to bear that in mind. But the air battle on this one, there's going to be a lot of luck involved. Uh, if we attack, like, uh, German uh, Messerschmitt uh, 109 uh, Emils or whatever they're called, with our inexperienced Spitfires, and they just get the RNG luck and get the first shot off, it's like... Air combat in this game is so luck-based because it's probably not that realistic, but it, it because like airplanes weren't flying around organized in units quite the same way as infantry were. There were flight units, but there were individual planes that made it up. Like you wouldn't have a formation. I don't know. What I'm trying to get at is that 
having your unit get like wiped out in two turns because it lost the initiative in both fights and and like airplanes going up against airplanes and one side doing all the damage the other side inflicting no damage at all there's a lot of luck that doesn't feel that realistic about the air combat in this game so i'm hoping we get the luck and they don't as far as just wiping their air force out in one or two turns as opposed to having ours eliminated But we should be seeing the uh, Luftwaffe showing up soon. There they are. With those little landing gear that don't duck back up into the gun, into the plane. Oh, they make me mad. But we'll have to ca check carefully and make sure they don't have... Uh, ha, the Bessel Geary, whatever they are. Bersgliri. They tried to get froggy. German tanks had a lot more success at attacking our infantry in the open field, which is probably to be expected. Rugged defense. They did nothing. Now there's Italian fighter planes attacking our uh, artillery. Okay, so we want to be paying very close attention to where the enemy air force is at. Right now, we've got on the field... Uh, two units. One of them is a bomber that is not accompanied by fighter support. And the other one is an Italian fighter. It has initiative 5, air attack 12, air defense 10... Our fighters have the same initiative, almost the same stats. So, like, the, their fighters are a little bit weaker than the British fighters that have no experience, but not much. And honestly, it's not always clear that it isn't a better idea to lead off with our experienced bombers. They would be expected to inflict damage of six. But these fighters would have about the same. Let's open up with fighters. Okay. We got off the first attack, so we got lucky. Now let's have our new fighter unit. Hopefully finish them off. And they couldn't do it because they're terrible. Let's have you guys park in here and attack the bombers, but do it in such a way that that fighter can't escape. Let's have you guys... Let's have you finish off the bombers in such a way that if anyone tries to attack you... They have to deal with a fighter escort because if you if you have a bomber on the map and uh, enemy fighters attack it and it is in the hex adjacent to a fighter then the that one of your fighters and your fighters gets the first pass attacking the enemy fighters and it's called escorts which makes sense generally the ai is not going to be dumb enough because again they see these same expected losses things so if they felt the, the need to send one of their fighters after one of our bombers they would go after this bomber which would not have escorts. Hmm. So that is not going to be it. They, they have more air in this map than that. But what's the range on you? You have a range of two. Which means we can't attack these guys without being counterattacked on the next turn by air support. I've got two bombers who have yet to act. Some of they got one star. I can't really attack them right now. You guys have Heart attack three, defensive seven. 
so you are not as dangerous as a tank unit. You're fairly dangerous, but you're not as dangerous as a tank unit. Oh, come on! Boo! I really did not need them to get the first attack. That was not helpful to me at all. No, I didn't actually mean for you to advance. Although I guess that will stop them from... Because I'd like for these guys to get out of here and... Uh, get reinforced. I won't use elite reinforcements for them, but uh, reinforcements still be good. I think I'm now... Uh, I got all the core units I'm getting, yeah. I can only get one uh, auxiliary unit in this campaign. So if you stay, sit still for now. But I'm supposed to not just wipe these guys... Like, I have to wipe these guys out and then to get a major victory or even a minor victory. It's not just I can hold cities. I have to actually wipe them out and then advance. So I can't be dicking around for too long here. We need to get moving. Um, These German tanks are a lot more dangerous than the Italian infantry, so let's try to use our our safe ranged units against them. Okay, that might have to do it. I kind of feel like I should be attacking these guys, but if I get like a poor showing against them, I could get driven out of these cities. So actually these cities don't matter. Uh, I, I need to wipe out these forces. I did a poor showing already. I did a great showing. I'm the best. My tactics are genius other than the fact that I think I just gave them this city. Well, if they take it, they, they lose it on the next turn. All right. Let's call this one a video. Between videos, I need to look up uh, what are the major victory conditions, or what are, like what campaign do I get for each uh, outcome and whether I'm actually trying to win this one or not. <laughs> but uh, when we come back next time, we will figure something out and make some kind of progress. See you then.